Bro, I ain't do nothing but try to help all the independent artists out there. I try to give some advice, and now I'm beefing with most of the damn cameramen in the United States right now on Instagram. They in my comments mad at me because I'm putting them out of business basically by giving these artists this game that I gave. So what I did, I made a little video on Instagram. If y'all been following me for a minute on Instagram or TikTok, y'all know that I do these little motivational videos occasionally, and I give some real harsh, truthful advice. But I did one recently for uh, for our independent artists out there, and I was basically trying to let these niggas know, if you still wasting money on music videos in 2024, then you just a dumbass nigga, because you got to be making content. You got to be making short-form content specifically. TikToks, reels, shorts, things of that nature to really excel in this day and age in music, because that's the truth. We all know music videos are content as well, but that's long-form content. You got to have short-form content to direct people to the long-form content if you have that to offer as well. A lot of people don't have the budget to do both, though. That's why I started the video off by saying if you still wasting money on music videos, then whoop the whoop the whoop. Because if you only got $300 to your name and your videographer is charging you $300, you don't need to be shooting that music video. You need to be pumping out all the free content that you can create with your phone, short form, that you can put on TikTok, Instagram, and uh, whatever other platform allows you to do vertical short form content. Because that's the content that gets pushed out in the algorithms. That's the content that catches people's attention that have never heard of you before. And once you gather up people that are interested in what you got to offer, then... You can direct them to the long-form content if that's available for you. But if you don't have the budget to create said long-form content, don't waste your money on that. That's all I was trying to let people uh, know. And the crazy thing about it is uh, it's so many, uh, it was so many cameramen in my comments trying to say like, what the fuck they were saying? They was yeah, they was just saying like music videos are content woot the woot. But yeah, most artists are not chopping up their music videos into shorter pieces of content to promote the video. They think that. Niggas, still, niggas mind still stuck in 2015. They thinking if you drop, if you make a cool music video, you gonna get seen. That is not the truth. It do not matter how good your video is right now. You can have the best video in the motherfucking world, but if don't nobody know about it, it don't matter. How do you get people to know about it? Short form content. That's all I'm trying to get across. That was the point I was trying to get across to the artists. But a lot of the, a lot of the, especially the videographers. Some artists was getting the, the, the idea misconstrued too. But mainly them videographers. Boy, I feel like I even had to start throwing hands with these nigga in the uh, in the comments or whatever. But that's basically all I was trying to let people know, though, man. You, it's, it's more than just creating a cool visual. Me personally, if you look through my discography, every single that I have out has a music video to accompany it, except for one, and it's a feature that I did with a foreign artist that stays in an entirely different country, so it was kind of hard for us to coordinate the music video situation. And she was going through some things at the time, personally, that kind of hindered the situation, or it hindered the process or whatever. So, but I drop music videos for everything. And I, what I do in this bag right here, in this book bag, I got two cameras. I got two Sony cameras, you feel me? They shoot 4K. If I ain't got the budget to pay my cameraman at the time, get what I'm going to do. Put my shit up on the tripod, and I'm going to film my shit. At the end of the day, I'm not wasting money on the long-form content because I know what's, I know what really matters, you feel me? The promotion, the marketing, that the advertisement, that's what matters. So I'm going to save money shooting my video with another nigga, and I'm going to just set my shit up and shoot my own shit. I'm going to get it done one way or another because I appreciate the art of music videos, and I always come up with thoughtful concepts and shit because that is another creative outlet aside from the music. It's like an extension of the music. People love being creative with the music, but then they kind of lack on the music videos. But yeah, this is another way that you can extend your creativity. So... I'm uh, yeah, I'm a definitely I'm definitely an advocate for music videos. So people don't get that shit misconstrued thinking I'm saying music videos are dead and don't shoot music videos. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying if you can't afford to shoot a music video and put out short form content to direct people to your music video, then don't shoot a music video because you wasting time and energy at that point. That's all I'm trying to say. It's about energy allocation. Don't allocate your energy to something that is not going to be useful to you in the long run. It's not going to uh, garner you any kind of success by having that music video. 
So that's the point that I was trying to get people to understand. If you don't understand that still, I don't know what the fuck to tell you honestly. All right, now this part of the video is a game changer for all the videographers. The videographers that felt like I'm trying to put them out of business, this is the game changer for you guys. This is what I want you guys to take away from it. Okay, I'm letting all the artists know that music videos are not worth wasting your money on if you don't have the budget and that short form content is key. So if I'm a smart videographer, what does that mean for me? What does that mean I should do? Try to trick artists into thinking that the music video is more important? No. Offer a different service that can actually benefit the artist. Ding, ding, ding. Easy. You feel me? Start offering content packages. Instead of only selling music videos, which is long form content, also offer with your music video shoots, offer them 10, uh, 10 30 second clips from different scenes of their music video with the lyrics on screen. CapCut does the lyrics for you. You don't have to type them out yourself. This shit takes three minutes per clip max to create. Easy. You could charge an extra however the fuck much on top of your price just for that. And guess what else you could also add on top of it? You have a camera in your hand while you're shooting the video. Guess what you could do? Shoot them like 20 off-guard photos during the shoot. That's another thing you can charge them for. You got to start charging these artists for full content packages on top of the music video. And also, you don't even have to do a music video for everybody. You could just say, say your... Say your, your uh, your price is $300 for a music video shoot. You could also charge $300 for just a content shoot. Link with an artist for one hour. Film however many uh, short form content pieces surrounding a song that you can in that hour. It's going to be high quality and it's going to be edited nice. A lot of artists don't know how to uh, chop up content and TikToks and whatnot to put them together. But you're an editor and a, and a video creator, so you know how to do this for them. It'll be very, very, very quick and easy for you to do. And actually, it would be a lot less work and a lot less stress than trying to go back and forth on revisions for a music video with an artist. So... Videographers, at least take that away from what I said to the artist. I told the artist what's really valuable and what's really important, so you should also think about what's really valuable and what's really important to the artist and start offering that service to them. That's all I got to say, man. With all that being said, I got new music dropping on the 2nd of February, a single called Black. I'm going to uh, have a preview posted very soon on my Instagram account, so if y'all ain't following me there, make sure y'all go follow me at Lord DeAndre. That's all platforms, just Lord DeAndre, by the way, not just Instagram, my TikTok and Twitter and Facebook, all that shit is at Lord DeAndre. So yeah, just make sure y'all tap with me, man. I'm going to have a whole lot more valuable content coming for you guys soon. And just stay tuned. Oh, Lord.